Yes, hi, hello students. So today I'm here with Zoology Chapter 11, Biodiversity and its Conservation. So in the chapter, there are two interesting topics. So take a bite from today's video. So we will talk about two topics. Like Biogeographical Regions of India and Red Data Book. Okay. So what are the possible questions you can expect? So first, Biogeographical Regions of India. One more question you can expect. Like uh, which among the following is a biogeographical zone? I will create now options. That is the biogeographical names. You should pick the right one. Okay. Other form is assertion reason. So assertion is the biogeographical zones dash dash dash. And the reason is this biogeographical zones on which factors they are classified. Reason. Okay, so this questions we can expect from biogeographical regions. And from red data book, second red data book, it's a book back question. So two mark kekla, three mark kekla. Like write about data, red data book or explain about red data book. And one more question pathina. Who maintain this red data book? Which organization maintain this red data book? So, in the questions, all expect all. So, in the questions, all answers all. In our video, all pack. So, biogeographical regions of India. Abdina. So, this regions, this zones, which is present in India, they are classified based on the species present. So, in the plants present, ayirka. In the animals present, ayirka. And depending upon these climatic conditions, soil conditions, so in the factors are based on in the biogeographical zones, they classify So, abdi India patona, we have 10 biogeographical zones of India. How many? It's 10 biogeographical zones of India. So, what are all they? So, first, it's the Trans Himalaya, Himalaya, Semi Arid Zone, Gangetic Plains, Desert. Northeast, Deccan Peninsula, Coastal Zones, Western Ghats and Islands. So, in the Mari 10 zones are the classification. So, India Alamato Patana 10 zones present. So, over zone Nama Papo. So, first it's the Trans Himalaya. So, either the Trans Himalayan zone. So, Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, so and this, and the areas, it comes under Trans Himalaya. So, this is the species. We have wild sheep and goat. Okay, wild sheep and goat. So, which is the richest wild sheep in the world? Why it's known as the richest? So, because of its quality. So, in the uh, wild sheep, it's the richest in the world. It's known as the richest uh, wild sheep in the world. Okay, so trans Himalayas la vandu patrona, it's on the Jammu Kashmir Ladakh region la dharka, so on in species present I can patho. Then we are moving into Himalayas. So Himalayas na in a region, it's this region which runs from western part of India to eastern part of India. So in the Himalayas la vandu patho na, in an animals present I can. So Himalayas na re namal kena na bhagavaro, snow na bhagavaro, like so uh, uh, panda. Okay, so panda. Snow leopard. Idella present icon in Himalayas. Then we are moving into the yellow color coded semi arid zone. So over zones may color coding which represent panit panga. So this yellow coded it's the semi arid zone. So arid nala in them come in a rainfall area. So low rainfall areas. So similar to a semi desert. So and the area areas that is known as the semi arid zone. So in the semi arid zone it includes the Aravalli hills. Okay, so and the hills la in the semi arid zone la da varo. In the species present we have Asiatic lion, tiger, leopards, idalana. So in the semi arid zones la present And then we are moving into Gangetic plains. So Gangetic plains na see in the areas la, in the green areas la, it's the Gangetic plains. So this Gangetic plains vandu patana like in the Uttar Pradesh. Bihar, so under regions, la, then the Gangetic Plains level. So, it line the species when the present are. It's a fertile an area. So, this Gangetic Plains, it's a fertile an area, and we have crocodiles. Irukko. Okay, so rhino, either la Gangetic Plains la present. Okay. So, we are seeing the biogeographical zones. So, matto 10 zones present. Ayirka. So, over zone may when the in a species present. I can bring one or two examples. Okay, so in that order, next it's the desert areas. Yeah, it's the brown one, it's a desert area. 
ஸோ இந்த டெசர்ட்னாலே நம்மளுக்கு என்ன ஞாபகம் வரும் தார் டெசர்ட் ஞாபகம் வரும் ஸோ தார் டெசர்ட் ஆஃப் ராஜஸ்தான் அண்ட் இன்னொரு டெசர்ட் கூட இருக்கு விச் இஸ் அ சால்ட் டெசர்ட் ஆஃப் குஜராத் அது கூட இந்த டெசர்ட் ஏரியாஸ்ல வந்து வரும் ஸோ இதுல என்ன என்ன அனிமல்ஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆயிருக்கும் ஸோ நம்மளுக்கு தெரியும் டெசர்ட்னாலே நம்மளுக்கு கேமல்ஸ் தான் ஞாபகம் வரும் எஸ் ரைட் இட்ஸ் தி கேமல்ஸ் ஃபாக்ஸஸ் இதெல்லாம் இந்த டெசர்ட் ஏரியாஸ்ல ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆயிருக்கும் அண்ட் தென் இட்ஸ் தி நார்த் ஈஸ்ட் ரீஜன் ஸோ நார்த் ஈஸ்ட் ரீஜன் இந்த ஏரியாஸ் தான் விச் கனெக்ட்ஸ் the mountain regions with the peninsula regions okay so and the junction na it's the northeast regions so and the northeast la vandha paathana we have rhinoceros present i go and then next it's the deccan peninsula so deccan peninsula da irukradile largest area va vandu occupy panirukom okay so this is the deccan peninsula so in the deccan peninsula la we have டைகர்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஸ்லாத் பியர்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஓகே எலிஃபன்ஸ் இருக்கும் அண்ட் சாம்பார் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஆகும் ஸோ சாம்பார்னோடய இட்ஸ் நாட் தி ஃபுட் இட்ஸ் தி சாம்பார் டீர் ஸோ அந்த சாம்பார் டீர் கூட இட்ஸ் லிஸ்டட் இந்த ரெட் லிஸ்டட் ஸ்பீசஸில் கூட ப்ரெசன்ட் ஆகிருக்கும் தட் சாம்பார் டீர் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் இட்ஸ் தி கோஸ்டல் ஏரியாஸ் ஸோ கோஸ்டல்னால இட்ஸ் த பிளாக் கோடர் ஸோ கோஸ்டல்னால நம்மளுக்கு என்ன ஞாபகம் வரும் பீச்சஸ் எல்லாம் ஞாபகம் வரும் எஸ் ஆப்வியஸ்லி இந்த சாண்டி பீச்சஸ் எல்லாம் இந்த கோஸ்டல் ஏரியாஸில் தான் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகும் and then uh, we have uh, corals irukum mangroves alla present a irukum okay so in the coastal areas la corals mangroves alla mangrove species alla present a irukum okay so depending upon the climatic conditions poruthu soil conditions poruthu da and the species vandu irukum then western ghats so western ghats adha name la inga irukku west side la present a irukku so this yellow one it's the western ghats okay so in the western ghats enga irundha inga varaikku irukku from gujarat la irundha Kerala Varako, this Western Ghats, it extend. Yes, so I have a question for you. So, which is the state animal of Tamil Nadu? Yes, the Nilagiri Thar. So, the Nilagiri Thar is in the Western Ghats. La present so, Western Ghats is a dense forest. You can imagine the imagination. So, from evergreen forest, la, the dry deciduous forest varako, in the Western Ghats. La present and then finally it's the island so island it's the andaman and nicobar island so in the island enga present a irukka arabian sea la present a irukka bay of bengal la present a irukka it's present in bay of bengal so it's the bay of bengal la da in the andaman and nicobar islands present a irukka so since it's an aquatic ecosystem so adanal enna irukum so corals wide variety of corals present a irukku and the aquatic species ella present a irukku and this is about the biogeographical 10 biogeographical zones of india so next nama red data book pathi paaka porom red data book so in the book vandu paathona enna irukku in the book la so it contains a list of endangered species எக்ஸ்டிங்க் ஆகக்கூடிய ஸ்பீசஸ் அந்த ஸ்பீசஸோட லிஸ்ட் எல்லாம் தான் இந்த புக்கில் வந்து இருக்கும் ஸோ எக்ஸ்டிங்ஷன்னா என்ன ஸோ டிஸப்பியர் ஆக போகிறது அந்த மாதிரி ஸ்பீசஸ் எல்லாம் தான் இருக்கும் ஸோ இந்த புக் வந்து இட்ஸ் ரெட் இன் கலர் ஸோ ரெட்னால என்ன இட் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் சம் டேஞ்சர் ஆர் வார்னிங் சைன் ஸோ அதுதான் ரெட்டோட ஒரு இண்டிகேஷன் ஸோ வாட் ஃபார் வார்னிங் சைன் ஆஃப் தி பயோடைவர்சிட்டி ஸோ பயோடைவர்சிட்டினால என்ன it's the variability of species variety of species or species richness adha da biodiversity nu solrom so in the ecosystem eduthalum seri like it may be a terrestrial one or aquatic one or a marine one so there are the species or differences species richness da namo biodiversity nu solrom so inge nama ena red data book la ena list panirukanga the endangered species extinction aagakudiya species or risk face pandra species ellame inda book la list panirukanga okay so it's indicates the biodiversity loss adha pathi da inda red data book vanu indicate panadhu so inda red data book la enna irukku nu sonna we have endangered species risk extinction risk for extinction species irukku nu sonna so and the species la it is categorized in this book as extinct extinct in the wild critically endangered endangered vulnerable near threatened least concern or lower risk data deficient not evaluated so in the mari eight categorization vandu paniranga in the species ellame so in the mari eight categorization la da in the red data book la vandu species arrange a irukum see first extinct extinct in the wild in the vulnerable varaikume enadhu it's the risk for extinction porthu classify paniranga so higher risk irukiradhu edhu lower risk irukiradhu edhu and the mari classification irukum and then least concern ala it's the lower risk species next data deficient species so adha pathina sufficient ana data kedaiyadhu adha it comes under data deficient and not evaluated abina studies e adha pathi illa 
okay so and the more species like comes under not evaluator okay so ipidha they have categorized the species in the red data book so in the book la vanda paathana this book it was maintained by so somebody has to maintain this book right so this book it was maintained by iucn so iucn had a full form in um, it is international union for conservation of nature so which is now renamed it as world conservation union wcu so it's now renamed it as world conservation union or rename panirukanga so ivunga da wcu da in the red data book vand maintain pandranga okay so in the purpose of red data book enna so adoda significance enna or adoda importance enna abdingiradha pathi paapom so purpose of red data book so anji key points tha so inda anji key points matum na pokuchukonga so first one is to create awareness on the degree of biodiversity is to create awareness on degree of threat okay so first key points matter note panikonga then i will explain it for you okay so first is to create awareness then it's identification and documentation of species and third one it's the global index then fourth one is to sign on international agreements and finally it's on conservation strategy okay so in and a points patharko so first is to create awareness okay so awareness on degree of threat to biodiversity so biodiversity nale species richness nu sonna so species extinction aayidirukku so how much how fast the species is getting extinct abingra or degree analysis vandu kudukrom so is to create awareness on degree of threat first point and then the second point is to identify and document the extinction near extinction species so are there any species so adha patana data ellame in the book la vandu irukku and then the third point it's the global index okay so this biodiversity loss vandu paathona or this uh, species which is facing risk of extinction ella nama country la mattum kedaiyad india la mattum indha problem kedaiyad it's in many countries la indha mari problem vandu irukku so adanal or global index ku vandu create pannom about the biodiversity status so adha da this data data book it's very helpful in creating this global index okay then this to sign on international agreements okay nama sonna nariya countries la indha problem irukku so andha mari agreements ella sign panni so ella countries me it should participate in biodiversity conservation abingra agreements la they sign up within the countries and finally it's the conservation so namalukku therinjichu okay in the species la extinction aayirukku so nama enna pannanum to prevent this so we need to conserve these species so conservation strategies ella implement panni in the species a conserve pannala so idu da the five important points of the purpose of red data book so the red data book oda importance okay yes so yes students bye bye